Hey guys, Boshit here, and welcome to your Boshit Gmod Machinima tutorial. This has been a feature requested for quite some time, and I held off on it for a while because I had just assumed there were enough tutorials out there already. However, the requests continued to come in about it to the point where I just thought, eh, why not? Before we get started, first of all, remember, Gary's Mod is not a game that will work on its own. It is a mod, and it's going to require the Orange Box and Counter-Strike Source to play. Second, this is by no means a full tutorial on how to become pro at Gary's Mod in general. Some people have it in their heads that Gary's Mod has a right way to play it, and to that I say, shake off the linear shooter mentality, gentlemen. It's time to let your imagination out to play. The best advice I can give you for learning and enjoying Gary's Mod to the fullest is to just screw around with stuff. There's a lot to work with in here, and even Gmod pros still have things to discover. There's no goal in the game other than the one you make for yourself. The game is very open and doesn't have a specific rule set. It's more like a creativity tool, so give yourself a project. Maybe go into the multiplayer build servers around and just kind of see what everyone else is working on for some inspiration or even just to see how they did it. In the end, this is a self-motivated video game more than a tool for animation, but it just so happens to be, in my opinion, the best video game possible for making a machinima. And like any other machinima, yours will only be as good as your understanding of the game you use. Now, with that out of the way, let's not waste any more time. In today's video, we will be simply getting started with the right tools. First, you're going to need to understand that it's probably a good idea that your computer is built to support gaming in the first place. If it's a bare-bones little machine that was only meant for word processing, you're going nowhere fast. That in mind, you're going to need capture software to record scenes from Gary's Mod. I recommend Fraps for this. It's quick and easy to use, and the quality is very good. I would also suggest, if you can manage it, to dedicate a separate hard drive to these Fraps capture files, because these things are huge. And I'm talking a few gigs huge. So you're probably wondering how in the world you're going to make something for YouTube with files so big. Well, that's where the next and most important tool comes in, editing software. You'll need it not only to construct your video the way you want it, but when you're done with it, using the editor's render function will compress the Fraps files into full video and come up with a size much more manageable. When it comes to what editing software you use, some people, like me, prefer Sony Vegas, others use Adobe Premiere, and some people even use Windows Movie Maker. They are wrong. Do not use Windows Movie Maker. It is extremely limited in what it can do, and your project will almost certainly be mediocre as a result of using it. For the duration of these tutorials, I will be working with Sony Vegas 12. Just like before, you're going to want to know or at least learn the editing software you're using, because I'm not going to be going over everything in Sony Vegas. There's tutorials all over YouTube just for Sony Vegas, so you will most assuredly find help in places you get stuck in. These aforementioned tools are essential in making a Gmod Machinima, but please feel free to use other tools to help spice up your videos. Photoshop and Audacity are great to start with, and if you're really ambitious, you can bring Adobe After Effects into the mix. But again, you better know how to use your tools. Alright, now you have everything you need to make a Gary's Mod Machinima. Join me next time when we get into Gary's Mod and start making everything look authentic as possible. In the meantime, I highly suggest you play around and learn tricks in Gary's Mod and start learning your editing software of choice. You're going to need it. I'll see you next time.